So, uh, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna teach you how to create a bot for any MMO basically. And in this case, especially, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna to create a bot for Cabal Online. So, this bot will be very simple but will, it will perform some actions that are going to be very useful for you if you play Kabam online you know how repetitive some things that you have to do on the game uh, are such as farming when you go on a map and you have to keep on killing hundreds and hundreds of mobs hundreds and hundreds of monsters just in order to get some items so that you can sell and make some money out of it so what this bot will do is basically the type of action you would have to do in order to to farm on maps basically which is select a target kill the monster achieve whichever whichever item or gold it leaves behind so with just a couple lines of code you can do uh, a small bot you can create a, a, a short program that can perform this sort of actions for you so the, the programming language I'm gonna use for this project is the Python language. I think it's a very simple language mainly for um, for new buys to use, for new new programmers to use, uh, people with no experience with programming is a fairly simple programming language so I think that anyone can use it and for those of you who already know Python this is going to be uh, pretty much straightforward I believe so the Python terminal I'm going to use is PyCharm so you can download that I'm going to leave the link in the description down below you can open PyCharm let's wait a couple seconds there alright it's loading a project I have already but since I want to I want to show you the process from the whole beginning close this and the first thing you have to do after downloading installing and opening PyCharm is create a new project right here uh, let's give it a name let's say uh, uh, Cabal uh, 24 I don't know okay after that let's create we can do this in uh, the current window there's no problem with that all right it's creating a virtual environment okay after that what we need to do is, is, is right click on the, our project right here click on new python file let's give it a name cabal hit ok or enter double click in here get more space all right cool so uh, our bot will need two modules two python modules one of them is already installed i believe it's called time so let's import time right here and the other one is Pi Auto GUI, which I just pronounced uh, I don't know if it's correct or not, probably not, but whatever. And this module is not pre installed uh, yet, so you have to click on File, Settings. We're gonna have to install this module. We can click on our project down here, Project Interpreter. Let's click on this plus sign right here, search for the module. I auto GUI and stop package. Let's wait a couple seconds here. Alright, it's installed. Let's close this and this as well. Now we can use this module. So let's import I auto GUI. Okay, so here's the game here is our python terminal so here is where we're gonna do this stuff here we're gonna send uh, the commands on the game okay so the first th the, the, what you want to do exactly here is right uh, middle click on the screen so that 
your, you select a target okay so if you use the middle button of your mouse a target on the map is selected and after that you want to right click on one of these skills whichever skill you have in here so let's say you want to click on slot one as to use one skill in order to kill the monster and after you kill the monster you want to retrieve whichever item the monster or gold the monster leaves behind so let's, that's the commands you're gonna write down in here and send to, to the game okay so for us to use the right the, the middle click in order to select the target we need to first click on the screen in order in order to our cursor go from the terminal to the game okay so because we don't know to we don't want to to give right clicks on the the python terminal we want to give right clicks and middle clicks on the game so the first thing we're gonna do is just say by our gui dot click so i want to click anywhere on the screen okay so let's say click on my character I need to know the coordinates of the mouse cursor in this position right here okay so in order to get the position to get the x value and y value on on the screen i'm going to use a very small tool called the mouse pulse it stands for position i believe and it gives me the 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 x and y values of my my cursor on the screen the coordinates of my cursor on the screen so the coordinate of the cursor here is 963569 so let's write this down here 96 what was it 960 all right 960 575 okay so with this co okay this uh, comma not a dot comma all right so what it's gonna do is it's gonna click on my on my screen. After that, I want my bot to give it a middle click on the screen in order to select a target. So let's write down my auto GUI dot middle click. Well, since it doesn't make any difference where I give my right click on the screen, I can just assign whichever position I want so let's give the same position we gave for the left click on the screen sorry all right after that I want my I want to give it a right click on this skill right here so I need to get the position of this skill which is if we look at the mouse pose right here is let's see all right, I can say 690 and 1000. All right. Click 690, 8000. All right, cool. Well, after it right clicks on here, it's going to go after the monster and try to kill it. So as you can see, it takes some time for your character to kill the monster. It's in this time it's going to depend on the level of your character, the time of cast of your skill. So we are going to say to our program that we want to wait for a couple seconds before it targets a new monster to kill. Because we want our character to wait for one monster to die first. So let's write here time dot sleep. Uh, let's say five seconds. Five seconds, I believe it's enough. Again, if your character is a high level character, if the monster you're trying to kill is a low level monster, you're gonna know how much time you need to kill the monster and how much time your skill cast requires. So this parameter is going to depend on your situation basically. All right so um, i think we can try this out so let's see if it works so far so uh, we can press ctrl shift function 10 and it will run all right so here is what happened um, I forgot to mention it in the beginning, but you need to open PyCharm as an administrator. So what you're gonna do is let's save all this. 
all right let's save all let's close this and this is very important okay otherwise your mouse will be clicking on the on the positions you want but it will not send the commands to your character so it needs to be open in administrator mode mode all right so let's do this our program is already written we saved so we won't have to write it again so let's just wait for it to open shift f10 or we can click on this green play button right here all right let's do this okay it's attacking the monster I'm not mo I'm, I'm not moving the mouse I'm not controlling anything after it kills the monster it's going to select a new target after five seconds oh wait all right so here's pretty much what we did we give it a click on the screen. We give it a click on the skin. A middle, uh, a middle click on the screen in order to select a monster. A right click to use the skill, and we waited five seconds. I forgot the part where we want to retrieve the the, the gold and the items on the floor. So, the the strategy I use for this is we're gonna use the mouse function. The scroll scrolling mouse function in order to get the gold so when I scroll up on the screen I retrieve the items on the floor okay I do this because I've tried using keyboard commands but sometimes the commands are passed to the game sometimes it doesn't so since I want I want to make sure that my character is getting everything that is on the floor I want the the retrieving items function to work every single time and scrolling up is a good way to do it so you need to go on the game and change the the function of retrieving items from the space bar which I believe it's the default to scrolling up so you can go this is in Portuguese by the way but in your, in your game you can find the the keyboard function for retrieving items okay it's not inventory where is it Let's see. Retrieving items. Gosh, where is it? All right, right here. Uh, it's going to be scroll up. Okay, the default here is going to be space bar. You're going to change it to scroll up, and then you you hit OK. Okay, going back to our program, after it kills the monster and waits for 5 seconds, you want to buy out of GUI, not scroll, and let's say scroll up 200 times, okay, alright, cool. And I don't want this to happen only once because I want my character to do this action, perform this action many, many, many times. So I'm going to create a loop. So let's go for k in range 0 to I know, uh, 10. And again, you can put whichever number you want here. This is the number of times that this cycle is going to happen. So just for testing, I'm going to put 10, but you will probably be using, I don't know, 100, 500, 1000. Okay. So we're going to indent this right here. I don't need this click to happen uh, every time my, my cycle happens because I want the click on screen to happen only once. So I'm going to take this out of the loop. Okay. So I think we are all set. So let's try doing it again. Run. Right. It's going after the target. It's killing it. All right. It's going to select a new target right now. Any target that is nearby selected. Going to attack again. All right. It's going to retrieve the item. You can see on the the log display on the far far right bottom right selected a new target is going to attack wait it for five seconds is all right 
Okay, got the gold. Going for another target, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's basically how this bot is working. I think. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to finish. It's going to take a couple more seconds, I believe. Is it done? I think it is. Let's check. All right is pretty much done okay so that's our bot as you saw we took nine lines of code it's pretty simple i'm afraid this video took much longer than it was supposed to but i wanted to give you um, the idea of how this bot how bots in general they work so since you are basically sending commands to your computer uh, and it's not working your bot is not getting any information from the game itself your bot is basically another person playing the game so there's no way for your bot to be detected so it's pretty much uh, a fun exercise to do and you don't need to be afraid of using this bot um, let's see what else well remember to open PyCharm always in administrator mode otherwise your commands will not work and I think this is pretty much it for now this is a very simple bot. I've worked on some other comp um, some other more complex bots in Cabal Online. I'm working right now in a bot that it uh, retrieves the items on the floor. If it is an item, a gear item such as these items right here, it's going to destroy the items and retrieve the materials. I'm going to be posting a video or a video on how this bot work. Uh, later but I think this is it for now thank you very much for watching and see you next time